Hey, what's going on guys? Your local boy Curtis here with my man behind the camera, Tyler Albers. We're so excited to be here at the local butcher and market and Winter Garden's one and only Plant Street Market. These are the guys to go to. So let's see what they got going on for us today. so stoked to be at the local butcher and market here in Winter Garden's one and only Plant Street Market. Vince, what's up, man? What's up, man? So what's your official title? So I'm the general manager here, uh, head butcher here, or dry age alchemist. Nice, I love it. So we're excited to go behind the uh, counter, so to speak. Um, but all of, the, all of the meat that I buy, whether it's for a holiday party or just a family get together, you know. That's yeah, how we absolutely. know each other. I yes. come here all the time. Um, so I'm excited to see what do you have for us today? What are we so showcasing? So what I'm gonna showcase today is we have the Woodford Reserve Bluegrass uh, Infused Dry Age. It's a 45 day dry age ribeye that we infuse with Woodford Reserve bourbon. And, and then you guys I, are one of the only people yeah, in Florida. We are actually the only, one of the only people in Florida and then a handful of only butchers in the United States um, that are actually selling this for retail. Um, and then the other thing that we're gonna showcase is a West Holmes A8, A9 Waggy ribeye that comes from Northern Queensland. Woo, I'm excited. Let's cut some meat. So the aging process of this is this is a 100% Black Angus cow uh, ribeye loin from Nebraska and basically what we do is we take cheesecloth and then we wrap it around and then we take this nice gentleman right here and for three weeks straight we soak this entire loin in Woodford Reserve. So what it does is it infuses the ribeye with the flavor and then it also breaks up some protein molecules for a very, very tender steak. Cool, so what, what part of the cow is this? So this is a ribeye. Ribeye, So okay. this is, in my personal opinion, the best part of the cow. Um, the, the, the fat percentage on this, the flavor, um, the best part of the ribeye is gonna be a chuck in, which is gonna be down here. So you're gonna have the spinellus to it, the cap of it, and then the other part is the sirloin. Equally as well, um, some people do the sirloin side more than they do the chuck side or the short loin side, because um, it has less fat to it. But a ribeye in itself, fantastic. Okay, cool. So this one. Oh, daddy. This will be the chuck in of the ribeye. How many cuts do we get out of one? So I will get probably, I would say a good nine to 10 cuts out of this. Each one of them will be about a pound a piece. Um, with the dry age, we usually go try to do at least a pound. Um, dry age creates a barrier that's why it's a little hard to cut as you can see on the outside it creates a rind and it's somewhat bitter um, some of my friends over in Europe tend to eat it the American palate it tends to be a little bit more bitter on the ends end so oh wow that looks so good that ribeye is ready to go oh, best part wow. of it right there that's the best part this would be the best part because you've got the spinellus here or the cap end um, then you've got the eye and then I'll show you the other end. And then this would be the sirloin side. So this is the difference between the sirloin side or the short loin side compared to the cap end. So this end here is closer to the, the chuck end of the cow or closer to its head. It's where this is closer to the rear of the cow or the midsection of the cow. Okay. All right, so what do we have here? So this is the A8 to A9 Waggy ribeye from Northern Queensland from West Holmes. Oh, wow. Um, absolutely phenomenal piece of meat. Um, this to me is the upper echelon of Wagyu. Uh, we do the Australian here because it tastes beef, butter, and bacon almost all in the same way. Wow. And what's the difference between like the way this animal versus... So uh, like the, these animal. guys here... What um, makes it Wagyu? So the Wagyu is actually uh, the breed of cattle. Um, the other cattle that we have in here, uh, the ribeye that I cut earlier is 100% Black Angus. Um, these guys are a completely different breed. Um, these are free roaming cattle uh, in Queensland. They have three stations with this ranch. They call them stations in Australia instead of ranches. Wow. Um, this is actually a three-year-old cattle. Here in the United States, they tend to uh, slaughter the animals a little bit younger 
Um, these guys are well taken care of. Um, the cowboys uh, let them do what they need to do. They eat wild sorghum grass. Um, they're uh, not really messed with. They're kind of living happy lives. Nice. The last four, six months of their life, they bring them in, they feed them a special form of like grain, a special diet, and it rounds out the fat, as you can see. I mean, that's just absolutely like, yeah, it's phenomenal. That's nothing but flavor that we're That's nothing but flavor, right absolutely. Right on. Five minutes each side of your cast iron skillet, you can't go wrong. It's amazing. This is behind the scenes at the local butcher and market at Plant Street Market here in Winter Garden. I'm so stoked that you guys let us come back here. No I appreciate worries. it. Thanks for cutting up some meat for us. You're welcome. Uh, if you guys have any questions about meat or anything like that for any of your events or even just for dinner this Friday night, come see my guys here at the butcher. Hope you guys have enjoyed the content. Thank you guys again for having us Anytime, back here. Anytime. This is Curtis Gunner, your local boy. Tyler Alvers behind the camera. We've had a great time. We'll see you next time.